I'm not drunk, I'm just tired from being drunk. Here's what happened since the last episode. Kim Jong-un bans Christmas. North Korea's chubby leader Kim Jong-un doesn't like Christians and he especially hates Christmas. I'm a psycho. So he forbids anyone in the country to celebrate it. But what do they celebrate on December 24th? Well, they celebrate the great leader's grandma. I'm not kidding, I swear to Buddha. Kim Jong-suk, also known as Granny, was born on Christmas Eve 1919 and she was an anti-Japanese guerrilla and communist activist. And you thought your grandma is cool for baking you cookies. Open Gangnam Style. Yep. On Christmas Eve, many North Koreans pay tribute to the sacred mother of the revolution. So if you want to visit North Korea on Christmas, why would you want to do that? You should learn some new carols. I love my grandma. God rest her soul. I'm still alive, you son of a bitch! But I won't make the whole country celebrate her birthday. But then again, I'm not a fat dictator. No! You're a fat idiot! <laughs> That's why we pretend you're dead! <laughs> Get a kiss with your phone. It's very difficult to have a long distance relationship with no physical intimacy. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Okay, hang up. No, you 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 hang up. Don't make me send a nuclear missile. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> But now, researchers from the City University London have developed the Kissinger Gadget, a device that can record and then mimic a real kiss using force and pressure sensors. So you can finally get that long distance kiss. When two users want a kiss, they connect through the Kissinger app, then press their lips on the device's silicon pads, and they can feel the pressure pattern of one another. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tongue simulation is not supported. So far, the team has created an iOS prototype that plugs into the headphone jack of the phone. That's great. That will work excellent with the new iPhone 7. Idiots. And don't get me started with all the wonderful teledildonics that you can use to keep your long distance relationship going or coming. Because kissing just, it's not. Nobody's like, I kissed her until she came, man. Unless. I would only use this device to kiss a girl with herpes or give a kiss on the cheek to my grandma. <laughs> you can kiss my ass, fat boy! <laughs> I'm fine. God damn it. iPhones will soon be made by robots. In order to reduce costs and increase productivity, Foxconn, the manufacturing giant behind Apple's iPhone, is planning to replace a vast majority of human employees with robots. Let's face it, humans are lazy, untrustworthy, and often stupid. Yeah, yeah, I'm at work, yeah. I'm assembling a Samsung, yeah. Hmm? Is this the right battery? Any, yeah. But then again, robots are cold, impersonal, and hackable. Foxconn is one of the largest employers in the world with over 1.2 million workers, making around 600,000 iPhones a day. But in order to stay in line with the competition, at least 30% of the work will be automated by 2020. That's 400,000 layoffs. Eesh. That's even worse than celebrating Kim's grandma for Christmas. Kim Jong-Soku is coming! To town. It's hard to see a good outcome for the workers, but I recommend to do your job so good that no human or robot can replace you. Hello and welcome to 3 Minute John 3.0. Error, 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 error. This was the show again. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment below. I'm John, and until next week, keep it safe and secure. No, you hang up. 
No, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up.